Hello everyone, my name is Amina and in my previous video I have arrived to Japan right before the upcoming Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Some of you may know that due to the current pandemic that we are in, the Japanese government have obliged to multiple rules, one of them being the hotel quarantine regulation. Since we flew from America, we will have to quarantine for three days. So this is a vlog where I will be showing and explaining you what it is like to quarantine in a Japanese hotel for three days with all the new COVID rules. Welcome to our first day of hotel quarantine. Before I present our hotel room, let me give some background information about our travel experience and hotel. It took us five hours to give in our required documents and get tested for COVID after arriving at the Narita International Airport. Then we got seated on our bus that will take us to our hotel. The bus was covered with plastic for COVID safety. Afterwards, we got checked in at one of the hotels near the Narita Airport. This is a quick summary of our airport experience, but if you would like to know more, check my previous video about flying to Japan. It has all the information you need to know. Right when I woke up, the first thing I was required to do is take my body temperature and later on report it to the COVID Center app that I installed on my phone. You're probably wondering what app I had installed on my phone for this three-day quarantine, so let me give you a quick explanation. The first app is called COCOA. This is Japan's COVID-19 contact tracing app that can notify you if you have been in contact with someone who has tested positive. The second app is named MySOS. This is a video call app that the HCO will be using to contact you in order to confirm your location and health. The third app is known as OEL. This application allows the HCO to confirm your location. You'll be needed to check in your location on this app daily during your quarantine period. Now that we have discussed about all the apps, let me give you a proper hotel room tour. We are at the Toyoko in Narita Airport. We didn't choose nor book this hotel, but surprise Surprisingly, we got a pretty substantial room on the 10th floor which has the biggest rooms usually reserved for larger groups. Before checking in at this hotel, they asked us about our food restrictions and smoking habit. Based on the answer of these two questions, they assigned people to different hotel rooms. One thing that I appreciated a lot was the accommodation and meals were all free at this hotel. This hotel room comes with a basic shower slash bathroom, one small mini refrigerator to keep some of our food fresh, two enormous queen size beds, one electric kettle pot and two normal cups, and a television to keep us entertained during our quarantine. Now, let me introduce you to some of the rules that you were essential to follow during your hotel quarantine. As you saw earlier, there was a sign hanging on the door saying you are not allowed to leave your hotel room at all except when you're receiving your provided hotel meals. Drinking alcohol is forbidden during your quarantine. You need to check your temperature every morning and constantly check in your location with the OEL app that I talked about earlier. Earlier. Also, when you're receiving your meals, you should put on a mask since you're opening your hotel door. Speaking of hotel meals, I suppose some of you are thinking about what meals they provide here. So let me show you the meals that I have got during this three-day quarantine and how this entire food system works. 15 minutes before they start serving your meals, they make an announcement saying that they will start with a meal service soon. You can open your doors after their second announcement. And after their second announcement saying that they have put our meals outside on top of a chair, we can finally receive them. Attention please, your breakfast meal has been served outside of the tunnel. Now that they have made this announcement, we are finally allowed to open the door and get our yummy meals.
All of the meals that they give us are Japanese bento boxes, which look delicious, but sadly, all of the bento boxes are served cold since we can't microwave the food. In general, all of the meals were appetizing and nourishing. We got served with our meals three times a day. Breakfast was at 8 to 8.30 a.m., lunch was at 12 to 12.30 p.m., and dinner was at 6 to 6.30 p.m. Unfortunately, you cannot control when these meals will arrive at your door, so sometimes Sometimes the meals might come a bit late or early. But let me now show you some of the meals that the hotel served us. In every meal, they provided a small salad, juice box, and sometimes a miso soup. The meals, however, were different every day. After you are done with your meal, all you do is put all the garbage in a plastic bag and put it back outside. Since we were quarantined at a hotel, we couldn't do much, but we did not get tired because they have Wi-Fi at this hotel, so I spent most of my time searching the internet on my computer. Another thing we did quite often during our quarantine was watch the beautiful sunrise and sunset. The third day of our hotel quarantine was our last day and right when I woke up, the announcement bell went off saying that for the people who will be leaving the hotel today need to take the saliva COVID test to determine if you are positive or negative. We are supposed to be taking our COVID tests one more time because they need to check, you know, if we're negative or positive to the COVID test. And they just announced a few minutes ago that they have their, the COVID test kit near the door so let's go take it the announcement stated that they have prepared a covid test kit and they have put this kit right outside our door so here is our covid test you can see that my name is written on here my age and the room number like the hotel room number that we're in so the covid test here in japan all we have to do is just spit into these like bottles they kindly put our covid test in this plastic bag with a tube a funnel and an instruction manual so the bottle and this little cup where you just spit into it and they also have this like kit hand kit of how to take the covid test properly they have one side in japanese and the other side translated to english they have this like picture where it says, if saliva does not come out easily, massage parted gland area between your ear and your chin and keep the saliva in your mouth. The hotel provided these two pictures to make it easier for us to spit into these bottles since these two images are sour foods. This COVID test is actually really easy to take because all you are doing is putting your saliva inside a tube and later on the hotel staff will come and receive your COVID kits. After the hotel staff got our COVID tests, now all we do is wait in our hotel room and hope that our test results will be negative. After four to three hours, we got a call from the hotel staff on the first floor talking about our COVID results. Your result is negative, so you can leave today. Come down to the first floor around 2.30 p.m. The staff have confirmed that our COVID test came out negative and that means we are finally able to leave our three-day hotel quarantine. The staff also stated to go downstairs to the first floor of the hotel at 2.30 with our luggage and our other personal items. So we have just packed all of our personal items and luggage, now we are ready to leave our hotel. <music> We are now on the first floor discussing with the hotel staff about our other quarantine details and safety because if some of you had no idea, but after our personal three-day hotel quarantine, 
we are also obliged to quarantine in our homes for two weeks. This two-week quarantine is not as serious as the hotel. There are just a few simple rules you need to follow in the two-week quarantine and that is you are not allowed to use any public transport like trains, taxi, and buses. You are not allowed to socialize with others and you are not allowed to expose yourselves in crowded areas. We have taken a look at some basic documents back at the hotel and now we are finally leaving. Since we can't take public transport, the hotel bus will drive us back to the Narita airport and from there we will have our family pick us up from the airport and take us home. back to the airport and now we're just waiting for our family members to come pick us up from the airport. I can't believe we are finally out of the hotel and are now heading back home. Overall, the hotel and its accommodation services were spectacular and I had a good three-day hotel quarantine. Hi everyone, it's Editing Amina and I just wanted to come on here to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informational and I'm sorry for not being active for quite a while but I'm very excited to get back on track with all of my YouTube videos because I have been coming up with a lot of content recently so stay tuned for that and hope you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn the post notifications on to be notified every time I post a new video follow me on all of my social medias right here and I hope all of you have a wonderful fantastic amazing day Mwah. bye love you